Hello everyone, this is Marcia from One Scrap at a Time and I'm back today with another YouTube scrapbook process video for International Scrapbook Day. So today I am playing around with my new toy. So I, I purchased this mink from a Tuesday morning. Um, fabulous deal. Half the price of um, what Michael's or Hobby Lobby or um, what I could find it online for Amazon. And um, so this is my first time playing with it. And I am using some thermal web deco foil. And so um, you can see me arranging um, the foil in um, this transfer folder. And um, since this is my first time using it, um, you can see lots of mistakes that I'm making here. I did not cover up the whole um, design and some of it got onto my transfer folder. So I actually ran this through my mink a couple different times um, to get the design onto my um, digital cut file. So that digital cut file is from Jelly Bean Soup. So my second method that I wanted to try was the Rebecca Meyer um, mixed media tape. So this is a really neat way for someone who doesn't have a thermal laminator to use some foil on your projects. So this is just um, some adhesive tape and the adhesive sticks to the foil. So right here you can see I put the foil on the wrong side of the tape. Just trying to be smart there. Um, so um, I'm adhering the foil down and rubbing it on to make sure that it all gets transferred to the tape. And I'm using my bone folder to um, help with that process. So you can see um, on my left side there, since I lifted the foil up and then set it back down, it did not adhere everywhere. Um, but that's okay. I just um, put the foil back down and rub it some more. and um, and it, it's all fine. Um, I am um, going to be using a Martha Stewart punch, a border punch on here to get a fancy design and to be able to use this on um, my layout. So this is just a lacy scallop edge um, that I'm punching here and um, not sure if my punch just wasn't sharp enough or if if it's because the foil is a uh, thin so um, it might be a good idea to use some wax paper to um, maybe sharpen your punch before you try to punch the foil so I only had um, issues um, uh, just a little bit at the beginning and um, then it wasn't so bad so I'm gonna punch this and then I'm going to get out um, my paper cutter and I'm going to cut this um, border in half. So I thought I was being um, um, very conservative. I could use both sides of the tape and, and cut this in half and um, it's going to look great on my layout. Uh, little issues here getting it to sit still so I can get a straight cut on here. So you see me struggling with it a little bit. And then I eventually just get my scissors up for the end. All right, so let me show you how I'm going to use the foil on my layout. I'm using some Jelly Bean Soup Bohemian Brew today for my layout. And this um, collection has lots of different colors and lots of different patterns. Um, it's um, the bohemian part is is very fitting. Um, so I'm going to be um, trying to tuck my foil tape underneath um, this piece of pattern paper. And it's just going to peek out then just a little bit on the edges. So what I'm using to adhere it down is some iCraft mixed media adhesive. And this is something um, ThermoWeb sent me um, as part of a collaboration with Jelly Bean Soup. 
So it was it was nice to be able to try um, the different foils and adhesives from Thermalweb. All right, so the Mandela cut file you saw me um, laminating with foil earlier. I actually cut out a background for it with white cardstock, and I thought it would help make the foil pop more. Um, with a vibrant pink against a white background. I'm using a photo today of my daughter. It's one of her senior photos. I'm just sitting on the edge of a creek and um, she has a very bohemian um, styled dress on as well. So when I saw this pattern paper, I immediately thought of this photo that I had and thought it would be perfect to use. Um, then I cut out another mandala cut file from Jelly Bean Soup and I thought um, I could layer all of the different pieces and looking back at the video now I really like that darker um, mandala underneath the other ones um, but I thought at the time I was covering up too much of my pattern paper and I didn't want to do that so I opted not to use it um, but seeing it on the video now, I'm like, oh, that looks cool. So I'm playing around with some of the peapod parts now from the Bohemian Brew collection, trying to decide um, what will work on my layout. Um, but before I get too far, I wanted to add some splatters on my background. I'm using some Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold and I thought that would just add another metallic effect to the Thermoweb foil and um, really help offset each other. Um, so now I am um, back looking at my puffy stickers thinking I want to put some on, on my photo and what else I might want to put on here and then I thought I'm getting carried away again I need to add here that mandala onto the background so I'm using the mixed media adhesive again to do this. Um, this adhesive is just a great all around adhesive for um, paper, for foil, um, anything. You don't have to switch back and forth. So I'm layering my um, two die cut mandalas on top of each other. And I uh, almost forgot to glue the foil piece down um, to create the mandala with the foil, I actually printed um, just solid black on a laser printer. Um, and then I was able to um, use that paper as a die cut in with my silhouette and then run it through the mink. So um, I thought this was uh, a cool way to use the foil. Um, and if you just, I don't have a laser printer, um, you can just send um, black, um, a Word doc that's all black um, to Kinko's to print for you. Um, I printed a few sheets. I brought some cardstock to work and I printed a few sheets at work. Um, so I was able to do that. Um, but it worked out really well. I'm, I'm pleased with the way it looks. Um, you'll see in the close-ups at the end that the foil doesn't cover exactly everything. And I don't know if it's because um, the ink wasn't, the toner on the, on the cardstock wasn't black enough or um, if my laminator wasn't hot enough. Um, I'm going to have to play around a little bit more, but you'll see some black that pokes through with the pink. Um, but again, I just think it adds to that shabby, chic look. Um, and it works with my bohemian layout. Um, so I'm still playing around with um, F mirror pieces and puppy stickers and getting everything adhered down. And I still don't have a title on here yet. So I was looking at the soup labels and I finally um, decided to use um, the soup labels 
for my title, Just Be You. Um, these ephemera pieces that I'm putting up here in the corner I thought would be great for some journaling. So I could add some journaling and when this photo was taken um, and the details. So that worked out well. All right, so I'm coming to the end of my layout here. Um, I do have a giveaway. Um, so I'm giving away some Thermal Web um, adhesive sheets and some mixed media foil. And so you can try using the foil yourself. And this doesn't require a laminator. Um, the foil will stick to the adhesive sheet. And um, you can play with it and, and try it out yourself. So to be eligible for the giveaway, um, become a follower of my YouTube channel and leave me a comment. Um, there are lots of other designers participating in the hop today and many of them have giveaways as well. So I hope you will hop along and join in and check out their videos as well. So here I am finally putting my BU title down on here uh, and getting my ruler out to um, make sure my alphas are just so. So there you have my layout. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Bye-bye.